views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to Small Steps Big Breakthrough Radio with Sarah Luce. Sarah Luce introduces us to her unique style that is creating massive transformational results for people across the globe in this hit show. If you want to propel yourself towards big breakthroughs of your own, make sure to bring your playful, magical self to the party as Sarah turns reality on end to experience expansive results with simple yet powerful steps. Step into enlightening minds, empowering hearts, expansive results. Blame, doubt, and fear are not invited. Hey, everybody. I'm Dr. Pat. I am so thrilled to be co-hosting here today with Sarah Luce. You know, small steps, big breakthroughs, enlightened minds, empowering hearts, expansive results. Today's show. Fasten your seatbelts for this one. Untethered, unload, unleash, unite. What a great show. What a great topic. Today, we're going to take on what it means to really step out and embrace those parts of our unique style that can change the lives of yourselves and others around you. How? Well, that's for Sarah to talk about today. For those of you that know who Sarah is, well, yep, you're going to get more of her up close and personal. For those of you that are hearing Sarah for the first time in this fabulous show, you know, her work is about helping us know how to connect with God in a deep personal way, but more than that, to know how to do that so that we can continue our spiritual progress and create amazing lives. This show is going to share how to enlighten our minds and empower our hearts. You know, Sarah's work goes beyond this radio show, and you're going to hear a little bit about this throughout the, you know, throughout our conversations today. How do we recognize our true gifts? You know, as an intuitive helper and healer, this is what she does. And, you know, to think about the life that she has created, the countless people that she works with, the many ways that she brings people together is how we can all empower ourselves and each other. So when we look at empowering other women, especially, she does this in many, many ways. Sister spirit party or that one-on-one support, she is in your court. Sarah, welcome to the show. What a great show. Untethered, unload, unleash, unite, boom. (laughs) Yeah, I'm excited to be here again, Pat. Thank you so much for having me and, uh, letting me get this message out. It's so important right now. There's so much changing in the world. So it's time for this, right? It is. So tell us about untethered because that, that word, you know, that is one of the most fascinating energetic words that we're seeing in our modern spiritual dialogue right now. Tell me about that and how you personally relate to that. Yes, absolutely. I might use it in a slightly different way than you're used to, but to me, untethered is, so I happen to own horses and untethered is a verb that means to Mm -hmm. untie, to literally like untie the horses and let them go. Right. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing more beautiful and magical than when you see the horses, they get excited. They're like, I'm tired of being constricted here and confined. Please let me go. And untethered is really about untying ourselves from this conventional ways of thinking or anything that is keeping us stuck in place and not being able to just like bolt out there and do the beautiful, gorgeous dance that us as individuals, each of us is born to do. And so it's really about letting go of anything. And especially right now in our world, there's so much changing, right? Yeah, I think yeah. one of the most important things we've got to let go of is this fear of change. Mm-hmm. You know, there's mm-hmm. so many people who are, are 
really that you know that whole saying of like well let's just leave well enough alone yeah just just and the complacency I mean you know we've seen in the last couple of weeks the women's march was just to me was so inspiring and awesome because it was a symbol that I really believe culturally Mm -hmm. people waking up and saying oh my gosh I can't just expect everything to work out and other people to do the work for me on my behalf yeah and I think that this is just such a well the term I use is tipping point it's a time Mm -hmm. in history when we're being called to untether ourselves from anything and everything that keeps us from being our most vibrant, courageous, brilliant, gorgeous, powerful self. Yeah. You know, it's interesting that you you brought the march up. Um, I was talking the other day about an event that happened to one of our representatives in um, a representative in Hawaii uh, in an actual. Uh, and not a, you know, we have a couple of parties in the United States. We have Democrat, Republican, Independent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it was interesting. Somebody sent me an article about this up and coming. What is the language? Up and coming, rising star um, representative Republican in Hawaii who was literally stripped of any council committee leadership role she had for participating. And I thought of you. Because Mm -hmm. the word untethered takes on special meaning when we have to make decisions that, wow, do I be my true self? Right. Or do I do I negotiate my true self for something else, right? Yeah. Oh, that is huge. Um, you and I, the first episode, we talked about the word, the work. And I, and I teased you, I said, maybe I'll come back with a better word for it. (laughs) Um, and I want to bring that up again, because, um, what I keep hearing my intuitive thing that drops in, it's like, give me an example. What is it that I'm trying to articulate? And I'm reminded of the Robert Frost poem, you know, the the road not taken. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're at a point in time when what's being called of us is to take the road that so few people will choose. And yet yeah. it will make all the difference. And yeah. it's so much about trusting that you have so much already within you that is here to make the world brilliant, that is mm-hmm. here to do amazing things. But so many of the people that I know and work with and talk to are terrified yeah. to take the action, which is really all about fear. And we talked about fear before too. Fear is a big one. I mean, mm-hmm. fear, I could in every episode address fear because that tends to be the bully that shows up that tries to keep us mm-hmm. small, to keep us from being really our authentic selves and doing what we're here to do, right? Yeah. Uh, and you know, one of the things that I know you talk about is you talk about the Dalai Lama talking about Western mm-hmm. women will change the world. Mm-hmm. I don't think when the Dalai Lama said that, that uh, either one of us had any idea that there would be the kind of catalyst we have now to unite women worldwide. Oh, and yeah. And I wanted right? you to, and not in a small way. And I would like, isn't this what you're talking about? You know, isn't this a representative? Uh, representation of untethered, so to speak, all Ab- over the world, not just Ab- here. Absolutely. I mean, I, 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 for two seconds, I just want to say I'm sure. disappointed by the the um, social media posts and stuff that I'm seeing where people are upset with women mm-hmm. for marching. I, I just think it's yeah. crazy. And that to me, those are the people that I really would ask you to take a look at your judgments of like, are you just, are you saying, please just leave well enough alone? You know, that's Mm -hmm. people afraid of change. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What that, what we did with the marches is we woke up women around the planet. We live in a country. We're so fortunate that women have so many rights here and that women have been given the Um, education so that our minds can be alert and alive and, 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 you know, thinking in ways that frankly men won't think. 
um, we've been given the opportunity to vote and have a voice in their political systems. We've been given the opportunity to do so many things that other women across the world cannot do. And what's happening now is we're starting to realize how important it is that we do, in fact, have that voice and that we do weigh in and that we care enough to stand up for what matters to us. And that is what's going to change the world, because so many women across the globe haven't had a taste, even a, the slightest taste of that liberty, that freedom yeah. of, that, that we're talking about. So it takes, you know, it's it's a process it doesn't happen overnight. And we have been living in our country, at least, with a process of waking women up to the truth of who they are and their importance. That's really the word, the importance of every individual who's hearing this radio show, who cares, who wants to make a difference and to choose. Like one of my favorite things that uh, Marianne Williamson says is, you know, playing small doesn't serve anyone. Right. There's right. a brilliant quote about that. I won't give you the whole one. It's long. It's one of my favorite quotes. So any one of us who chooses to play small is not only not serving ourselves, we're not serving the world. And I think that we're at a time in history where that is, it, it's exciting to me because I'm starting to recognize that the the candles that I always say, I love to light the candle of someone else and mm-hmm. let it pass and let it pass. The, I, I'm seeing like just seas of candles lit now. There is yeah. a lot hope out there for what can come and what can change. And it really is about each and every one of us, again, becoming untethered from everything that we have become complacent about. Yeah. You know, um, there's a a quote that I use a lot and I ask the question, are you playing to win or are you playing not to lose? And I'm telling Mm -hmm. you that showed up in the Super Bowl on Sunday. You know, one team was playing not to lose and the other one was playing to win. And I thought my friend sent me a text and said, I now know when you use that quote, I am now seeing exactly what that looks like and what a contrast and how painful it looks to play not to lose. We're going to take a short break, everyone. More with Sarah Luz when we come back. Unload. Untether. Unload. Unleash. Unite. Phone lines are open if you'd like to chat. If you have a question for Sarah, 1-800-930-2819. We'll be right back. Gibbs is a fourth generation high priestess with the knowledge to raise your vibration and conscious creation. Offering a wide variety of services from goddess light and shamanic healing seminars to private reading sessions, Bree works with you so you too can stand in your own power. Isn't it about time you took your life into your own hands? For more information about Bree's services and products, visit silvergaia.com. That's silver, G A I A.com. Be unstoppable. Who do executive women count on for up-to-date information on everything from stilettos to being heard in the boardroom? To achieve excellence, you must first take control of your life and develop a successful strategy with the Unstoppable Diva. Tune in to Up or Out with Connie Fife, Mondays 5 p.m. Eastern, as she cuts through the BS to guide you to become bold, connected, and unstoppable. For more information, visit uporout.com. Are you ready to start winning at the game of life? Lynn Brown, host of Get Into It, Winning at the Game of Life, is here to help you reach places and goals that you never thought possible. Lynn is an intuitive healer with a specialized background in financial healing. She combines her intuitive nature and her wholesome approach to financial planning. To learn more about her financial planning services, contact her personally at letter R, letter U, intuit.com. Hey everyone, this is Dr. Pat. I am so thrilled. I've had the honor of working with Leslie Fontaine for the past year or so. 
and what she has created in her hit program, Sheer Alchemy, transcends what most of us get to listen to or hear in any point in time in our lives. But beyond that, Leslie is working with people all over the world, and she has created something phenomenal based on the feedback and input from the Archangels, from the Ascended Masters, from the light beings, and most importantly, from each and every one of you. So if you want to change your life, if you're ready to step into your own version of Sheer Alchemy, please give Leslie a call at 678-665-3366. And why? Because this is what you're going to be prepared to do. Be amazed and on your part, connect with the Ascended Masters that are there to help you custom make the life that you are meant to live. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Stephan each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit The Truth is Funny. Wow. Hey, everybody. It's so great to be connecting with all of you. Sarah Luce is in the house. Today, I want you to know the radio show she does, Small Steps, Big Breakthroughs, Enlightening Minds, Empowering Hearts, and Expansive Results. Today, Untethered, Unload, Unleash, Unite. Before we talk about Unload, I would love for you to take a moment and talk about how you're bringing women together, what some of the things are you're doing, and what you've made available for our listeners. Oh, great. Yes. So um, I have a women's group that's going to be starting February 27th. And that group is, I'm calling it a sacred circle. There's nothing more powerful than when women come together and choose to support each other and hold each other accountable for the work, for choosing the path, the right path, the soul path. And I'm going to be taking 12 weeks and focusing on some extremely intuitive divine tools that I've been given. Some are very new. I haven't even used with my clients, but there's a lot of yummy work coming in to me from spirit. And we're going to be going through tools that will change lives. I promise you, you'll be searching the darkest corners of your closet, but we're going to do it in a fun way. And we're going to get out all the stuff that's keeping you tethered (laughs) to anything that's not working in your life. So I hope you'll join me that sister spirit party. There's information I know on Pat's website and on my own website, which is sarahloose.com. Um, it's going to be an amazing group and I hope you'll invest in yourself and prioritize your inner work and show up and be part of this group. Um, the other way that I'm showing up to serve women is I do one-on-one mentoring and, um, You can go to my website and see there's a lot of testimonials. There's so much that happens when I sit down with women um, one-on-one. We do that every two weeks. Um, We do it by phone line, and that doesn't change anything about the power or the impact of the intuitive connection and the healing that happens. So um, I'm excited. I am here to serve and help more women become empowered, and it's an exciting time to do that. Yeah. And the thing I want to say is, and I shared this during the last hour, um, I've never been able to make the accelerated changes in who I am and what I want to do in the world by myself. And the fact that you're bringing women together to do this, you know, is something that is so vitally important for us to support each other. So thank you for doing that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now I think many have are listening today and hearing the word unload and it has a certain connotation, but you talk about unload in a very different way. I would love to hear how this fits Mm -hmm. in to what we're chatting about today and what it can do to help us. Absolutely. The way I'm using the word unload is like, get rid of your baggage, get rid of your stuff. 
that you are holding on to that is, you know, zapping your energy, keeping you stuck in story, keeping you in that negative spiral downward. And there are a lot of things that do that. Um, and the first thing I want to say is you, you and I, Pat, had a great conversation a few weeks back about, you know, you can only change what you take responsibility for. Mm-hmm. And this is really about saying, I today am choosing to commit to being responsible for everything that shows up in my life. Now, granted, you might have some childhood stories or wounds or whatever. I know that stuff happens. Unfortunately, everybody has their stories. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody has their stories. And I, I'm going to do a whole episode with you on stories. But it's really to get that whatever is showing up and appearing in your life, you create it. And you can also quickly uncreate it. And it doesn't have to be painful and all that. So we're going to be getting rid of all of those limiting beliefs and so forth. But what I want to do is I'm going to take a second. And so many people, I'm always amazed by this. Um, so many people think of their stuff that is keeping them, holding them back, they really complicate it. And when I say, so how is your space? How is the space that you're living in? Or do you feel, does it, is it, is it like, is it supporting you? And what we really have to do, let me sidestep. We really have to look at anything and everything that we're exposed to and decide, is it supporting us or is it suppressing us? Right? Yeah. And that means your own space, like your work environment, your home. So, you know, there's so much that needs to be done on a tangible level to clean out our clutter, literally make space for this beautiful divine spirit energy to show up. Um, But I really want people to start looking at now more than ever relationships. Like who are we surrounding ourselves with? The people that we surround ourselves with are the sum total of who we become. So if you're not surrounding yourself with supportive, like-minded people that encourage you. Now, I'm not saying people that, you know, don't push you or whatever. There's a difference between being pushed for Mm -hmm. the right reasons and people who push your buttons and they're doing it, you know, for all the wrong reasons. But really looking at our relationships and cleaning those up. Um, The the objects around us that need to be cleaned up, the people around us and relationships that need to be cleaned up, our exposure to anything and everything that is zapping us and making us feel less than powerful. And right now, more than ever, especially the media, I mean, I can't say enough about how I am encouraging people. I mean, we're all getting, I'm I'm throwing myself in the bucket. I used to limit myself and never watch the news, made a lot of people in my life crazy. And now I feel like I have to watch some of the news, but I'm going to be really careful about where I get my news from and how much of it I'm going to take in, how deep I'm going to go. Because it, you know, like you watching all the stuff unfold in social media, you leave there feeling slimed. So there's a phrase I use and it's a, it it is a tool. Um, I'm going to give you a better one after this, but this is a really important deciding tool. And it's so simple and it sounds so silly. And I probably sound like I'm a kindergartner explaining it to you. And I don't care. I'm good with that because it's effective. Um, Anything that you're evaluating, what I always say to my clients is, does it make you feel yummy or does it make you feel yucky? It's really that simple. And people go, what? No, I'm like, really seriously. (laughs) Because it's a quick deciding factor of it's supporting or suppressing your energy, your positive, powerful energy. So anything and everything that you're thinking of that you're exposed to decide, is it, does it make me feel yummy? Does it make me feel yucky? And then make your decision of whether it's going to remain in your life or if you're going to continue that pattern based on that. Yeah. Now, we I have actually, tool. what I hear you also saying too is, please, can we give ourselves permission to do this? Oh, yeah. Right? (laughs) I mean, unload means that we get to unload, you know, the the guilt and the shame uh, that we have for caring about ourselves enough to do this, right? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for bringing that up. That's a really important point. You know, so many people... I mean, even even the act of choosing to do inner work or to work on themselves, they feel like they can't take the time to do that. 
in some way, shape or form that that's, you know, selfish or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. and even in, in doing the work, all of it is about a forgiveness process so that we can forge forward. Um, and being in that space of allowing ourselves to say, okay, I made some poor choices previously. Whoops. I recommit to making better choices. And it's that simple in the moment. It's that simple versus staying stuck in that place of I've made really bad choices. I'm living with really bad consequences. It's never going to change. And that's what a lot of people do, right? You've got to be willing. I would say you got to be flexible, flexible enough to say anything in any moment could pop up and go, oh, gosh, I'm realizing in this moment that isn't serving me. I thought it was. It's not. I've got to be willing to make a change and not be so attached Mm -hmm. to what other people might say or think. Yeah. And myself, I had an example this week, um, a very dear soul sister of mine um, pointed out to me, I, I have really, you know, tap schedule. And she said, Sarah, you're talking about wanting to make openings for inspiration, which is what we're going to talk about coming up soon. Yeah. How is your schedule looking lately? What is on your schedule that you needs to be liberated? <laughs> <laughs> and it, so it happens even for me with great intentions. I had a huge commitment. I'd promised myself to. And then I realized this is not supporting me and my higher purpose. So I'm going to politely decline, you know, learning to say no to things. That's a big one too. Yeah. Um, Pat, can I take a pause and do this awesome exercise? I would love to please do. Thank you, hon. Okay. So what I would love to do with your listeners right now is a tool that I use a lot with clients and I call it the vacuum. So we're talking about unloading all of our stuff. And like, once we unload it, you got to clean it up, right? Don't leave it just laying around. So I call it the vacuum and it's a beautiful energy healing tool. And I'm going to really encourage everybody right now, just experience this with me. It's going to be rather quiet and and yet it's very powerful. So what we're going to do is we're going to close our eyes and I want everybody to just imagine something that feels really yucky to you. Something that's going on in your life. Maybe it's multiple things. Frankly, if it's multiple things, you'll feel the the power of this even better. And I want you to all imagine that there is this beautiful white light hanging out above your head. And that beautiful white light is spirit. And we know that God, spirit, whatever your label is for that, always wants only the best for you and is able to overcome anything and everything in the moment. And so this beautiful, brilliant light literally is going to vacuum up off of you any energy, any feelings, any emotions, any attachments you have that are holding you down. And so this is your time to unload. So you're going to, with your eyes closed, just imagine from the top of your head that any thoughts about I am less than just get sucked up into that beautiful light. And just imagine that any things that are weighing on your heart, there's depression out there from some listeners, and I'm feeling a real sense of sadness and grief, a lot of grief from a lot of listeners. Imagine that that grief gets to be just sucked up into the light. And there's some people with physical ailments, and so I'm feeling back pain for some people. Imagine that the pain gets to be just be sucked up into the light. And there's a lot of relationship issues going on and relationships tend to show appear in our stomachs. So imagine that whatever you're holding, that's so tight and bound and restrictive and nauseous in our stomach, it gets sucked up into the light. And I'm just going to take a pause and I'd like everyone in the listening to my voice to imagine whatever is on your body that is feeling restricted, restrained, pressure, pain. Allow it, release it to go into that light. Knowing that spirit can literally transform anything in the moment. And now after that, in nature, we never leave a hole. So energetically, we replace it. And so I replace it now, imagining that that same light, everything is gone. And we download instead in replacement, unconditional love and light. And so imagine that from that light downward comes now 
this just beautiful experience of every place in your body from which the negative energy left is now filled with this beautiful, supportive, unconditional love and light all the way down on a cellular level, replaced with unconditional love and light. And just take that in and breathe. And just notice how much lighter you feel. And I would remind everyone that that exercise we just did is so powerful whenever we get distracted by our energies, our stories, all the things that take on energy and keep us bound. Mm. It's something you can do for yourself at any point, any time. And it always works. Super effective. Wow. Thank you, Sarah. We're going to take a short break now. Just breathe in, everyone. When we come back, get ready for Unleash. We'll be right back. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff, angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716, or visit angelhealinghouse.com. Do you feel that there's a bigger, better life for you? Is there anything holding you back from living the life you were meant to live? If you'd like to find your life's true purpose and calling, join the world's foremost authority on primal spirituality, David Carshare, in Becoming a Sun Radio, emotional and spiritual intelligence for a happy, fulfilling life. Tune in once a month to Becoming a Sun Radio with David Carshare on the Dr. Pat Show and Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit davidcarshare.com today. On the cutting edge of the new mainstream, Christine Upchurch is passionate about bringing together science, psychology, and spirituality in a way that can be applied to our everyday lives for true transformation. The Christine Upchurch Show, stellar conversations to illuminate your journey, engages some of the most outstanding visionaries on the planet in lively dialogue to inspire you to become that bright light you're meant to be. Join Christine every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time on KKNW, a.m. 1150, and Transformation Time. Talk Radio. What if your body and mind were the compasses to the secrets, mysteries, and magic of life? Glenna Rice, co-host of The Questionable Parent, is inviting you to access all that is possible. Glenna is a 10-year certified veteran access consciousness facilitator who offers an amazing variety of life-changing classes and workshops. Work with Glenna from anywhere with teleclasses and workshops all over the globe. To learn more and see Glenna's current schedule of events, classes, and workshops, visit glennarice.com. Did you know that all of the shows on the Transformation Radio Network are available as podcasts to stream or download? Really? Check us out. Go to transformationradio.fm. We have business shows, spiritual shows, energy healing shows, and pretty much everything in between. Something for everyone guaranteed to inspire, educate, and transform. We are transforming the world one listener at a time. Are you looking for the perfect setting for your next workshop or retreat? At Spirit Fire Meditative Retreat Center, cultivating consciousness is what we do best. Our guests count on us to create an atmosphere that supports serenity and well-being. We lead from the heart and create space for the mind. Freshly prepared meals designed with local and organic ingredients, 95 acres of beautiful woods and pastures, and a facility built with green in mind. This is what you'll find at Spirit Fire. For more information, visit spiritfireretreatcenter.com. Welcome back. It's so great to have all of you tune us in and turn us on. Sarah Luce is in the house. Sarah, before we start to talk about 
you know, for those of you tuning in, just tuning in, untether, unload, unleash, unite. We're going to be talking about unleash and unite. But before we do, again, what's the best way for people to find out more about you and to work with you directly? Yeah, go to my website, please. It's sarahloose.com. So that's Sarah without an H and loose without an E, sarahloose.com. Awesome. Okay. Unleash. Now, uh, we're talking about a, a new sense of freedom for a lot of folks. You know, tell us a little bit how Unleash works for you and how you incorporate this into the work that you do with your folks. Mm, this is my favorite section. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. So, Unleash to me is unleash this truth of everything that you are unleash the authenticity of who you are unleash the highest possibilities the brilliantness of who you are and the only way we do that is when we really do the soul work the inner work that lets us be led by spirit and so unleash is really about awakening the soul awakening the soul and letting the soul lead you versus the ego mind so that word in itself is very powerful. It means a lot of things to a lot of people. Um, and, you know, I can't help but be, you know, be thinking about the, the notion that it also means unleashing the power that we have within us from a spiritual perspective to literally run our lives. Can you talk about that for a bit? Yeah, absolutely. That's really what's important, especially right now in these times that we're living in. I really want people to understand that what is so important is, and I, I talk a lot about the right response and the right response. It's respond. It's when we can respond versus react and the mind will have us react. And so you see a lot of that happening today in our world with political structures and so forth and so on. When we respond, it's taking right action because we were led by a higher power. We're led by spirit. So I like to use the word inspired action and inspired. If you look at that word, it's literally in spirit action. So it's taking action from the place of being connected to God, spirit, and therefore being called to act, think, be something very different than we would be were we just trying to make it on our own. Everything changes when you are being led by your spirit side, your soul side, your higher self. And so I'm, I'm really excited about the work that I do that's teaching people how to be inspired. Yeah. So inspired is it's taking powerful actions that you would otherwise not because you're doing it knowing that you were called to do it. You're being asked to do it by a higher power. And you know that that wouldn't be asked of you if it weren't exactly what was best for you. It's inspired action in that all of a sudden your creativity opens up and whether it's languaging or painting or music or whatever, all of a sudden this place within you gets tapped and you're like, wow, where did that come <laughs> Right? Yeah. 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 Um, when we're looking at this and we look at Unleash and, you know, Unleash and Unite is what we're talking about together in a way. Um, but when we're talking about this, you know, what is it that helps us almost as if it were in this evolving door of unleash, inspire, unleash, inspire, unleash, inspire, right? Wow. You know, these things that are working together. It's like we try on unleash, correct? And we have something amazing happen to it or with it. And then we seem to be inspired to do it again and then again and again. But isn't sometimes you know, that first time, like in your case, you were talking about the fact that you don't listen to the news. I don't either. Um, and all of a sudden now there are too many things that are way too important for us to ignore. 
And Mm -hmm. yet, so we step out and we do it in a way that is it going to inspire me to take an action? And the reason I'm bringing it up is that sometimes our inspired actions of what we unleash scare the heck out of the people in our lives. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> yes. yes right? That's absolutely true. Yeah. How do you help people move in grace and gratitude through this unleashment? Unleashment. Well, <laughs> uh, the most important thing is to prioritize the spiritual practice. Mm-hmm. Absolutely bar none. Mm. So that it becomes not just something you enjoy, or something that then becomes comfortable, but it becomes something that you crave. Like for me, I feel completely unconnected. Like I, I can't do my work if I'm not connected and in that inspired movement. Right. Yeah. Um, So it's really about making a priority that you're going to choose the different, the the road less taken. I'm going to choose this because I know it's the right direction. It's the right path. So I prioritize in a way that is, I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm going to get up in the morning and I'm going to make sure that I have my connection with spirit that I'm saying, what, what's today. And and only thinking about today. That's another one. That's another big one. Because yeah. God is only in the now. Yeah. So when I we jump to... I want to ask you about the sister party that you're doing too. Sure. I mean, aren't you going to be incorporate some of the things we're talking about today, especially this idea of unleash? Aren't you going to be incorporating this so that the women that are participating have, you know, uh, uh, others to lean on as well as your teaching? Because sometimes it does take a village for us to unleash our best, right? Absolutely. That's a great point. Yeah. The sister spirit party is all about having the tools being given the tools to help you build this practice that will support you for your lifetime and being surrounded by other women who are experiencing it at the same time. There's nothing quite like having your best girlfriends there with you saying, ah, I I had that same experience and, or I'm really I'm really struggling with this. Is it something you're struggling with? And to have someone sit back and witness and hold space for you in a loving way that says, we're going to, we're going to really hold space and see you through this. We're going to support you and help you because that's, what's really being called for us now. And that's, it's setting aside and prioritizing that your inner work, your birthing of your most magnificent self is going to change the world. And that's what we're coming to together to create and ensure happens for each individual that, you know, each woman that chooses to be part of this. Yes. And isn't that really the emphasis on unite in the conversation, you know, and looking at the, this way for us to get inspired and get support. Um, And you're talking about soul support here as well as this inspiration that's coming from within, right? This inspiration that transcends the news, transcends other things. Isn't that what we're talking about here today? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, well, first of all, you know, a lot of people do the spiritual work and they isolate themselves. Mm -hmm. And we, we don't live in a world by ourselves. We live in a world, a community, with people and we're made as beings to want to be communal people. Well, my vision is that we start creating communities of people that choose this work, that choose this higher path, that choose this life of living from spirit direction. And so it's the beginning of creating a community of like-minded people who get where you are and will love you and support you and hold you um, and lift you up in those times when, I mean, frequently those of us who do this work, we go back into our own homes and nobody else is doing that work. <laughs> you know, it's like, um, I'm sure you have that same experience. Pat. Oh yeah. Surrounded yeah. by people. We, we live normal lives. <laughs> I'm not a monk. Right. So 
have to, uh, it's awesome. So we create these communities where we're united in our vision to make changes from a higher place and yeah. support each other on that path. Well, there's no question about it. I was out playing table tennis a couple of uh, weekends ago and I was, uh, I happened to be playing and one of our listeners recognized me and she was so taken aback by the fact that I was playing ping pong, <laughs> right? Like that yeah. I actually have a normal life of this. And, you, you know, it really is all of everything that makes us up. You and I are no different than any of our listeners here. We maybe have a few tools that we've picked up on the way and have decided to share them. Um, that's why you are so great at what you do, Sarah. I mean, it's not like you showed up today here with a silver spoon. You know, you've gone through things, had to overcome things. And now what you're doing is paying forward your teaching, your wisdom and the lessons. And isn't that what's going to come together and help us with the glue for us to share in that and learn and grow together? Absolutely. It's our it's our own stories, our own experiences that help enrich other people. You know, mm. what I love that happens when I'm in a group is, you know, some, a woman shares a story, something she's struggling with. And every time there are two or three or four other people that go, Oh my gosh, right. That's what I'm struggling with or That's what I've right. been feeling. And so we get to talk about it. And if I'm working on a, you know, individually with that one person in front of the group and saying, you know, let's process this, let's work through it. Here's this tool, whatever. It's not just helping that one person. It's helping the entire group of people because we are sharing experiences and having like experiences and living in the world where we're, you know, it's you, you, we can't escape the things we're exposed to and it's all very similar. So absolutely. I, you know, been on my own path, choosing this path for over 15 years and um, continue to be on the path. You know, it doesn't end. And I'm just really excited that I can take my own life experiences and share them and help other people find, find relief and mm -hmm. find light at the end. Right. Yeah. I mean, there are a couple things, too, that you can share with folks today. You know, what is some of the advice? What are some of the things you could help us with um, in our journey to, um, uh, for most people out there listening, unleash and unite? What are some of the things that perhaps you can share with us that will help us uh, kind of get things in an order so we can step out? What do we prioritize? What do we do? Yeah. Well, okay. So one of the things I want to talk about really quickly is this yeah. whole notion. It's been bugging me a lot lately. <laughs> I'm hearing from everybody. There's like an epidemic going on that people say I'm too busy. Oh, I hear that so much. I just cringe. And when I react like viscerally to that, I know something's up. So I spent a lot of time thinking about it. And I think that we have become a culture that is, I heard the term the other day, which was called FOMS, which is fear of missing something. Mm. So we pack our agendas, we pack our schedules, we take every last shred of time we have and give it to like social media and that exchange. Um, there's so much that we're doing that is mindless and numbing and negative. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to change. I'd love I, what I like to say is like, let's change that, that, um, moniker instead of being fear of missing something. What if it was fear of missing spirit? What if everything you're doing is you're missing spirit in the equation? Yeah. So yeah. I really encourage the first thing I would say is set down, look at your agenda today yeah, and go, where's spirit in that? Have I made room to be led by a yeah. higher authority power that has always got my best interest, or am I trying to do this alone? Yeah. yeah. Right. And I think the majority of us, I mean, me included, sometimes I forget, you know, I'm yeah. just, I'm busy. I got up. I got so much. <laughs> and then I'm marching off and then I'm realizing, gosh, I feel really cruddy and I'm making some uh -huh. choices and then, whoa, work, breaks <laughs> on. And then yeah. I just have to go back and forgive myself and recommit. And remember that God is only in every, in the moment. It's not, it's like here now, 
I had it not in the future. So like stay here and trust. That's one of the most important things that I'd like to share. Um, there is a lot going on out there too, energetically. I'm noticing yeah. in my age group, I'm, yeah. I'm well over 50. There are a lot of women that I'm working with that are gaining weight and they're going to throw in the excuse of that it's, you know, menopause or whatever. But I'm going to tell you what's really interesting we're finding is that when I really dig into their stories and their energy and find what's going on, there's a lot of bloat going on right now with people. And when you examine it, it's bloat from being filled with all the wrong stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, energetically and literally filled with all the wrong stuff. So we're, I'm doing a lot of work on spiritual cleansing. Yeah, that's Which part is, of Unleash, though, too. I mean, we're is. also talking talking about, you know, how to remove these things that are literally blocking um, our essence, really blocking us from being who we are. So the yeah. work that you're doing with women to do this, you know, what is the sense they have, Sarah? How do they, how are they feeling through the process And seeing that there is another point of view, another truth at the end of this that they were not aware of. Yeah. Best I can explain. Yeah. What happens is I think most people who come to work with me get that they are feeling stifled, suffocated, in pain. In some way, shape or form, they know that there's something more to their life than they're currently experiencing. And they really want up for air. (laughs) They want to surface and have joy and happiness and feel that they're on purpose. I love to do purpose work, finding what you're here for. And so this, the process is somewhere along the lines going, I can't stay in this pain any longer. And I want the other side. I want to be on the other side. I want it bad enough. And I'm going to trust you enough. Maybe it's from the testimonials of clients who've said this stuff works. Maybe it's from hearing me and knowing that I, I like just level. I tell it like it is. Um, we try to make it fun or at least, you know, I, I always make it simple to understand. I really engage people in a way that's typically kind of unique to them. And I'm like, Mm -hmm. we build a rapport. I I get to know people just as you get to know the people that come on, you know, your radio. You know, we spend time getting to know each other before. Yeah. "Yeah, Okay. I'm going to hang out and talk with Pat. Yeah. Um, It's important to me that they know that I am there because I genuinely love and I have no judgment. And I'm just there to birth them into their most beautiful version of themselves. And when they really feel that and know that, the rest is easy. The rest just unfolds. And we take it bit by bit. Whatever shows up that needs to be healed in that moment, that's what we heal. We don't, I don't set an agenda like, let's go through 12 steps and this is how it's going to work. I let spirit lead me as well. It's like, what is needing to be addressed, healed in this moment? Because it tends to be wonderful. It's always wonderful, but it tends to be that um, our minds would have us go in in an order that is that isn't correct. And so I find that it's like chronological order by spirit. (laughs) You you might want to work on this today. Well, I'm being told you need to do this. And the person goes, what? And then we realize that that had to be moved before we could get to healing this other piece. And just being allowing that we don't have all the answers that there's but we're given sources of inspiration that provide the answers in the moment. You know, it's just this beautiful process, right? Yeah. And you know what I love about it is it's a process that we don't have to take alone. What a great show. Thank you, Sarah, for today. And I wanted to ask you one more time, let folks know about the sister party and how do they sign up? How do they find more? And thank you so much for today. Absolutely. Yeah, I hope. Listen, if you're listening to the show, you're listening not by chance. You're here for a reason. Um, odds are you're being called to make some beautiful changes in your own life and it's going to be easier than you imagine. The Sister Spirit Party is my group mentoring. You can go to my website, saraloos.com, S-A-R-A-L-O-O-S.com. And on it, you'll find the Sister Spirit Party under events and also in a banner. Um, 
And I do hope you'll get signed up. By the way, listeners to Transformation Talk Radio are getting a $50 discount on your registration. So enter the coupon code SISTER50 at your checkout, and we're going to give you $50 off the enrollment. And I do hope you'll join us. We start February 27th. So this is the last time I'll be talking on the air with Pat um, before that group starts. So get registered today. Awesome. Thank you so much for today, Sarah. One last quick question, personal message. What would you like to leave us with? Please believe in yourself. Know that you're worthy and deserving of so much more. I'm here to help you. I would love to help bring you into the most brilliant version of yourself. So there's lots of hope and there's lots of help. You've been listening to Small Steps, Big Breakthrough Radio with Sarah Luce. In each show, Sarah helps us destroy sabotaging beliefs and behaviors to rewire our thinking and launch us to embracing what we're capable of creating. Expect an enlightening bend on what you currently believe is possible. Tune in each month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Don't fret. If you've missed Sarah live, visit SarahLuce.com and download the podcast. That's Sarah, L-O-O-S dot com. The preceding audio was via a Skype call.